Let me show you a bunch of example blog posts and their earnings and what it actually took to write those blog posts to give you a better idea as to how you can rank blog posts high on search results and how you can find success with your blog much easier. Let's jump into it. So let's start with one of my best performing articles of all time. This blog post is called the best AI art generators. It has almost 1 million page views and more than half a million visitors from Google. I published this blog post on my software or tech website called codinggem.com. This blog post has earned more than $20,000. It's mainly from affiliate sales, but part of it comes from ad revenue as well. And the reason why this particular post did so well was because I happened to be lucky enough to realize that the AI image generators were going to be huge back in 2022, and I was among the first people to ever write a good blog post about that topic. So yes, there is always some luck involved. And by the way, this type of a blog post which lists these products one after the other is called an affiliate roundup post. And I have actually made a separate video about the blog post templates and types and I highly recommend you checking it out. I have left a link to it in the description. So back to this article. So this particular blog post is doing well because it has these affiliate products at the top of the list. So basically, if somebody signs up and makes a purchase that is subscribes to a paid plan of one of these tools, I will earn a commission. And the best part is that I will actually earn a recurring commission. So if somebody joins and stays there for, let's say, 12 months, I will earn a commission every single month. Now, you might wonder how long it actually took to put together this post. Well, basically, the initial draft took only like three or four hours. But when I realized that this post started to rank high right off the bat, I wanted to make it a bit better and I spent an extra day on it. So in total, I spent perhaps like 12 hours on this blog post. The reason why this took so long to write is because I wanted to try out those tools. So I basically tested 10 different AI image generator tools and it took like five hours in total. But if you look at the blog post, there is absolutely nothing too special going on right there. So it is basically just a list post that lists 10 best AI image generators. And I list some of the features, pros and cons, pricing, and then I also share my own experiences with the tools. So it's very, very basic and you can do this without any practice. Of course, if you want to rank high for this kind of a topic, your blog needs to have a high topical authority in the AI or art space. I have made a separate video about topical authority and I highly recommend you checking it out because this is the number one key to making your blog posts rank high these days. I've left a link to it in the description. Now before we move on, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up because this way I know that this kind of information is actually insightful and I continue making similar videos in the future. The next blog post example is in the coding niche. Don't worry if you're not familiar with coding. The key takeaway here is that this is just a very brief list of 10 useful coding tips for Python programmers. And by the way, this blog post is published on medium.com. So the previous example was all about Google traffic. And I wanted to include this blog post in the mix because I think this illustrates well what kinds of stories do well on platforms like Medium and what kinds of stories tend to perform well on Google and other search engines. Nonetheless, this blog post topic is 10 useful Python coding snippets to code like a pro. This blog post has earned $750 since its release and it only took like one or two hours to write. And basically all the views come from Medium. As you can see from the blog post, it is very basic almost too basic. So this is something that one can put together very, very easily. And these days, to be brutally honest, you could write a post like this with AI and I would assume that this kind of a post wouldn't do well anymore. The reason I wanted to include this blog post in this video is to illustrate how differently Google and platforms like medium.com are. So basically on Google, a blog post that does well can easily need to be five to 10,000 words in length. But on a virality-based platform like Medium, these longer form stories won't perform that well. Instead, those short, informative and entertaining stories that one can read in a minute or two are much better on a platform like Medium. So let's move on to the next blog post example. So the previous two examples are performing really, really good. But this one is definitely not. And this is an example of a how-to guide. More specifically, this is a blog post about how to do affiliate marketing with ChatGPT. This blog post is useful, informative, very good in my opinion, but it's earning 
absolutely nothing at all. And I hate to bring you the bad news, but this is what most of your blog posts will end up looking like. So this particular blog post gets like 50 or 100 visitors per month, which is very, very low. Now you might wonder like, why on earth is somebody writing a post like this if it's not earning nothing at all? Is this a complete failure? Should you write these how-to guides in the first place? Well, let me share you some details. So before I even touched this topic, I knew that it's not going to get a ton of traffic because this is a very, very niche use case for ChatGPT. Nonetheless, I wanted to write this blog post because I want to make my site a credible and trustworthy resource in the blogging and affiliate marketing space. This blog post is just a purely informational piece of content that answers a very specific question. It is not showing any ads and it is definitely not showing any affiliate products. So this will probably never earn a single dollar. So I'm not going money first here, but I actually want to solve people's problems. And that's exactly what you need to do if you want to become a successful blogger as well. Google and other search engines appreciate credibility and trustworthiness when it comes to ranking blog posts and websites high on search results. And the only way to build trust in the eyes of Google is to write a ton of content related to your niche. And before we move on, don't forget to check my free blogging masterclass. I have left a link to it in the description. In this masterclass, I teach you absolutely everything you need to know to start a successful blog this year. Now, as the last blog post example, I want you to guess what happened before I actually reveal the data. So here's the topic. What is the resolution of 4K? And to give you some background, this blog post topic is something that a ton of people are searching for online. So in theory, it should get a ton of traffic. Also, I published this blog post on medium.com, which is a highly credible and trusted resource in the tech space. It is actually one of the most established websites on the entire internet. So in theory, I should have a great chance for ranking high for this kind of a topic. And also to make it even better, I didn't just answer this question, but I actually made a full on blog post about the topic with unique images that I generated to illustrate how the 4K, 8K systems work. Now, did you make your guess already? Well, this blog post absolutely underperformed. So it has like 300 reads in two years. So it is doing super bad and it's nowhere near the top 10 search results. And the reason to this is simple. Google didn't care about this blog post. And as I already stated in the previous example, this is unfortunately what happens to most of your blog posts. So even though there's nothing wrong with this kind of a blog post, it is not going to perform well always because there's a ton of competition and very great answers to begin with. So basically what happens to this blog post is that Google simply decided to ignore it because there are probably millions of similar answers to this question. Now, when it comes to ranking high on Google, there is always some luck involved, but there is definitely some things you can do to maximize your chances. Now, if you want to rank high on Google, your blog post needs to be the best piece of content about that topic on the entire internet. Also, the website that publishes this blog post that is your blog, needs to be a well-established and a credible source in that space. And I have made a separate video about how you can write these blog posts that have the best chance for ranking high. I've left a link to it in the description. I highly recommend you checking it out. Now, one thing before you go, it is usually those affiliate product posts or roundup posts that do well. And most of my earnings come from those as well. But that does not mean that those informational how-to guides that earn absolutely nothing at all would be useless. Those are the pieces of content that build trust to your website and make those affiliate posts rank high on Google. So you definitely need to write a ton of informative content. And as a matter of fact, most of your content should be informative how-to guides and such. So for example, out of the 1000 blog posts that I have written, I would say that at least 700 or 800 of those are informative posts that have absolutely no monetary intentions behind those. So those are just to boost the authority of my website and actually to make the spaces better that I'm targeting with those blog posts. Nonetheless, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good day.